So they've been live for a while. Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. Oh, study. Oh. listen to refiner again all 12 minutes because that's the way it is <laughs> and i'm going to talk about when we get to refiner talk about where the verses that scripture is referencing i have before but i want to reference it again and we're going to talk about it later in a few weeks um oh i'm lagging now i'm 99 percent sure i'm lagging now The verses for Refiner in Malachi chapter 3. Chapter 3. The social experiment we did? I don't know, explain. Basically, Garrett and I tended to have beef um, to see how the Christian community would respond um, and if they would participate like the world does in gossip and in cancel culture and the result was that yes the world the church will on social media um, and the real point is that I mean for me something I realized in the process is I've been preaching about revival and I've been talking about revival and I talk about consistently that the revival is going to come with young leaders they always do new revolutionary thinkers in the younger generation that lead their own generation. Of course, there are older people, but for the most part, this, the, the strongest and most remembered leaders of revival are people of that generation who understand it and stuff. Um, and so I've been saying how 
you know, Revival is going to have to do, is going to be all about, like, the young, the youth, um, because we are the church. But the issue is that the older church, you know, the millennial and the Gen X, whatever they are, Generation X is what they are, is our parents, the one, the children of the baby boomers. Um, Their generation is, like... Their part of the church loves to cancel people, loves gossip, loves. And that's why we think it's okay as like a younger part of the church because we sort of just observe it, not just in culture, but it's like justified because we see older Christians do it. That could happen to John Christ and other Christians over time. And it's really destructive and it's just awful. And so. is really bad here. I can't wait to be home to live stream so I can have good li- like good connection and stuff. Um, um, so, but, um, anyway, the point was that typically the older parts of the church love that kind of stuff. And it's like, if we're going to be a generation of revival, we have to stand out. We have to be set apart even from normalized behavior in the church and so it was just a test to see because we talk about you know the church loves to talk about how bad cancel culture is and that's something Gary and I have talked about all the time but the church actively participates and loves it Um, and that's what we did to prove a point because people have been calling us deceivers and false witnesses whatever and I feel do feel grieved and bad for the people who really prayed about it and we didn't take that into consideration which was an unwise thing on our part Um, but truly like in reality looking back on it if we had just talked about it people don't actually have to confront their way of thinking and their sin you know um but when they've actually done something and there's there's no excuse they can make for why they did it then they really have to confront it because if it was real they couldn't just make an excuse and be like well no I'm siding with this person or whatever but because it's fake we're able to come and be like you have no excuse You know, people have to confront it. So that was the goal. Um, Anyway, back to music. I'll continue to take six days of the Bible when I'm home. I'm going home on Thursday, so hopefully I'll have the first one back out on Friday. It's just been like a pain in the butt to film, and I just, I've been taking a break while I'm here and resting and just preparing and studying and just doing a lot. Um, and I'm also not here a ton, and so it's like, I don't know. I had time. There were times where I could have filmed, and it was just like, it would have been really inconsistent. Like, it would have just been like every four or five days, and it was like, it's just not worth it. I'll just keep up the series when I'm home, so... So I'll be posting a ton again when I'm home. I've just been taking a break.
I've lost like 700 followers since Garrett and I did it. Marty and I DM all the time. I'm wearing a shirt right now. felt very real so we have to understand is what Garrett was doing was he was taking real things that were almost true like he was taking real things that happened and then changing what actually happened a little bit so that it would seem more believable because people did remember the Kyler thing but in reality I did publicly defend Kyler by name um, and like the whole I don't want to work thing like that's an, sort of an inside joke in between us but that's like a long explanation um, like tons of stuff like that Oh, it's been over. Wow. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
We just truly want to make clear that this was never to just play a joke to trick you, deceive you, or hurt you. That was never the intention. No, this was not done out of malicious intent. We do genuinely love you and want what's best for you, and that is why we did this. We saw an issue within the community and within the church as a whole, and we wanted to bring attention to it. A lot of people are going to say, oh, well, we did this for our own personal gain. Neither of us gained from this. We both lost followers. We lost respect from people. Elijah lost an insane amount of sleeves. We were both stressing about this. He's not my favorite, like, at all. <laughs> He's not my favorite. <laughs> at all. Not even lying. Not even lying to you. This one was not was not easy for me to do. Just yesterday, my ex-wife, the mother of my children, tragically and suddenly passed away. Sunflowers were her favorite. So I wanted to do something in tribute to her for the kids our kids. I'll never forget you. This 
just truly want to make clear that this was never to just play a joke to trick you, deceive you. And it's serious. Bring the beat life like Jordan. Uh, young game star for the kill switch. Jojo. We just truly want to make clear that this was never to just play a joke to trick you, deceive you, or hurt you. That was never the intention. No, this was not done out of malicious intent. We do genuinely love you and want what's best for you, and that is why we did this. We saw an issue within the community and within the church as a whole, and we wanted to bring attention to it. A lot of people are going to say, oh, well, we did this for our own personal gain. Neither of us gained from this. We both lost followers. We lost respect from people. Elijah lost an insane amount of sleeves. We were both stressing about this. We received ungodly amount of hate. Wait, you're live again? Oh, I never stopped recording. We're back. Song by Social Misfits. I, like I said, I, I DM Marty. I talk to him. I, I listen to them pretty avidly. Never cut your hair. Time out. I've actually been thinking about cutting my hair short again. Get a fade. I don't know. <laughs> but I really have been thinking about cutting it. I'm not gonna lie. Listen, listen, let me cut my hair short. Why are y'all so opposed? Just let it happen. Everybody's mad. What's up, Cam? I'm gonna get that Grayson beard and go, come on. I do, though, like what my hair looks like at this length when I do it and stuff. I actually prefer it. Like, I think it looks cool when it's a little bit shorter than this and I, you know, put product in it and get it done. But I don't know. I like having long hair. I've always liked having long hair, so I probably won't cut it. Maybe when I'm an adult. What if I had, like, your shoulder length there? What would you guys think? It'd be weird. Shoulder length hair be weird. I don't have curly hair, just be straight. Get a perm? No way. Get out of here. 